Okay, so, so far year eight, you've been doing really, really well on the clips that I've set you. Um, I've just had a couple of queries about clip uh, 110, just the last couple of questions that some people are finding a little bit difficult. So I've decided to do a little video to show you how I would do these questions. Okay, so if we take a look at that first question, I'm trying to figure out what n is. So I'm trying to find out what the index is. So what I've got to do is I've got to convert 1 over 16 into 2 to the power something. And also I've got to convert the cube root of 2 into an index as well. So first thing is, what do I need? So how many times do I multiply by 2 to get 16? So we go 2, we've got 2, 4, 8, 16. So that's 2 to the power 4. So I can change that 16 to 1 over 2 to the power 4 divided by, right, if we look at this one, we know that the cube root of 2 is 1 third, okay? So if you remember, when we talked about roots, all right, we changed them into fractions. So the cube root of 2 is 1 third. So that becomes 2 to the power one third. Okay, right, so let's look at this now, right? Remember our two is in the denominator of the fraction. So that means we have negative power. So we can change this to two to the power minus four divided by two to the one third. Okay, and remember when we divide by uh, indices, when we use division in indices, it means we take away the indices. So to be able to take away that one third, I need to change that minus four into thirds. So that becomes two to the minus four times three is 12 over three divided by two to the one third. Third. Now, if I do minus 12 over 3, take away 1 over 3, I end up with 2 to the power minus 13 over 3. So, n is equal to minus 13 over 3. Okay, so that's the first one. The second type of example like this, a little bit the same. Okay, so we have to work on different things there. Uh, we have to work, work on each thing separately. Okay, so let's think about getting rid of that root. So we know what we can do to get rid of the root. Okay, the root becomes one third because it's a cube root. So I can start off by writing one over 32 to the power one third. Okay, and that's, gonna, that's still equal to my two to the n. Okay, remember I'm trying to figure out what n is. Again, I'm trying to get it to a power two, okay? I'm trying to get it two to the power something. So again, we'll work this out. So we've got two times two is four, times two again is eight, times two again is 16, times two again is 32. So 32 is two to the power five. So remember that five becomes the numerator in this fraction. So I'm going to end up with one over two to the power five over three. Remember, I still need that three there because of the cube root. And if you remember now, again, this is now the denominator. So just like that first one, if I want to get this out of the denominator of the fraction, all right, it becomes a negative index. So two to the minus five over three. So my answer for n is minus five over three. Okay, I hope this helps you to do those last couple of questions.